strangers. I am back. I've been on like a little two month hiatus due to uh, some kind of personal stuff going on. But now I am back and I have something to share with you. I'm super excited to be talking to you about this wig today. This is Aesthetica Sage and it is in the color RH12 slash 26 RT4. And guys, I've been wearing her for a couple of weeks now. And I love her, love her, love her, love her. She is my workhorse wig. Like if I don't have any idea of what I wanna do or I just have to get out of the house in a hurry, I grab this girl right here and I slap her on my head and I run out the door in her. She's really been great for me too because y'all know I haven't really worn any blonde shades. I know you guys have seen me in some kind of platinums with pinks. But you'll notice that I haven't really talked about any blonde shades in my video. And that's because I've kind of been a, a little bit scared of blondes. This is a great transitional color. If you are like me and not really sure that you can pull off blonde, but you're comfortable in like brunettes, maybe reds, this one is great. It's rooted and that rooting runs kind of all throughout the wig so you can kind of see it from all over. And it's got kind of a dark blonde, light brown base. It looks really nice. I love the color. There's a lot of colors in there. There's even like some, it looks like kind of an ashy blonde in there uh, and some gold. You can see even some gold in there. But I really, really, really have been enjoying it, and I have actually gone even blonder thanks to my success in this wig. It is really comfortable, like probably one of the most comfortable wigs that I own. I love this wig. I have not put any product in this wig. I have not put any conditioning spray even in this wig. And you can probably tell, cause if I get like right here, you can see these little flyaways right here. That's cause I haven't put any kind of product in this wig. Just about the only thing that I've probably done is run my fingers through it. Cause in the wind, I got some little frazzle over here cause I had it out and it was really windy, like hair whipping around. You could not see the wefts. Nobody even suspects that this is not my hair. People know I wear wigs, so people who know me know it's a wig, and they even they get right up close on it, and they're like, oh my gosh, I would never, never know that's not your hair. So I'll say this, this is not my only aesthetical wig, and I have noticed on my aesthetical wigs, I don't see that lace. It is almost invisible to me. And I'm looking for it. I'm like up in the mirror looking for the lace and I don't see it. So nobody else is going to see it either, which is really um, a great thing. If you're a new wig wearer, sometimes you are convinced that everyone is looking at your lace or everyone is looking at the dark knots on your wig. They're not. Guys, I don't care. They don't even notice. They probably are just like, wow, her hair looks really great. They aren't even looking at you thinking you're a little off. The only people that are going to notice that you are wearing a wig that notice your lace or notice your dark knots are you and other wig wearers. So the average person is probably never even going to know you're wearing one, you know, unless your lace is sliding back on your head. But as you can see on this one, you really can't tell. And I get pretty good coverage on this one. Here's my bio hair. My bio hair comes really far up. I got like some kind of Sasquatch jean going. So it's all up in here. And I normally, hold on. <laughs> I normally use this little brush right here. And then I just kind of pull out some of my own bio hair here. I'm not in front of a mirror and it's kind of hard to do this with just the camera because it never really, it never really, and then I learned this from Jill Lynn, just kind of the backcombing thing. She may have learned it from someone else. I mean, all these little secrets that go floating around, I always find them on multiple channels. I'm not sure who came up with what first. 
but I sure am glad you you ladies have shared your your knowledge with us. So whenever I have my own hair out, and right now I really need to dye my roots. They are very, very gray. But when they're not gray, that looks pretty natural. <laughs> so let's show you this again with my net my leave out pulled out. I've got pretty good coverage on this baby. And this lace, if you actually don't have bio hair that's like encroaching on your face like me, the lace goes from, from here to here, guys. That's a pretty substantial lace front. And as you can see, it's just fantastic. Fantastic. I even prefer this lace front over my Belle Madame Isabella Mono that I just got. So I just got it and it's it's kind of similar to this to this style here. And I'm gonna do a comparison later, but for now, I put on my Isabella Mono when I got it thinking I'm gonna love this so much better than that Aesthetica Sage, even though I love this wig. And then when I got it on, I could see my lace because the cap was a little bit smaller, so it was kind of indenting on my head a little bit, and I could see it. Nobody else could, but I could see it. So this wig right here, though, I mean, total confidence walking out of the house because you can't see it. And that part, this mono part right here, it looks really good, and it goes way back, and it's a pretty generous part right there guys that's how wide your part is and it gets up here and it kind of you've got your lace that goes all around here so i i have been really really enjoying this wig i'll actually take it off and show you guys the inside it smells like barbecue i went to the heart eight barbecue and if y'all haven't been there, you have to wait in line and pick out your meat and you're standing next to the smoker. So I smell like smoked brisket. Mm, smells kind of delicious. I'm going to be like irresistible to the boys in Texas, y'all. All right. Look how far back this part goes and look how thick that baby is. And then you've got your lace front here and it is impeccable. These ear tabs are super comfortable, and you guys, these stay up against my head. I don't have any problems. I put glasses on with these, no problems. Now, there is an extended nape, but it isn't like this same kind of material, and this isn't felt. It's not felt, so it's open, and that maybe is a good thing because there's kind of a lot of hair on this sage. And with this much hair and this Texas heat, it's kind of nice to have that area right there open a little bit. Let me try to get back on. I don't, I'm not real big on struggling to get my wigs on and off in front of you guys. I may end up editing this out. <laughs> Here she is. I'm ahead. I'm a wild woman, y'all. <laughs> All right, I got my leave out right there. And you know what, I said that, let me see if I can show you all the lace. It comes to right here, and then even right here. It just looks so natural and so pretty. I feel pretty, oh so pretty, in my wig hairs. And my fake eyelash. And, yeah, I, I do. I have, like, extension lashes. So, this has been great for me because going out of the house in your wigs. If I have these on, I sometimes don't even put any makeup on my face. And what I've got on right here is about what I'm going to be putting on my face. You know, I don't wear a lot of makeup, usually. Um, maybe for theatrical <laughs> effect, I might wear more. But... This one here, I run out without makeup in this thing all the time. I don't even put 
anything on my eyebrows. I just kind of brush them and I'm lucky, lucky that I've been blessed with good eyebrows. Thank you, mom and dad. Thank you, dad, because that's where I got them. My dad and his bushy eyebrows. I'm not sure which one of you is all Sasquatchy, but thank you for, for these. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some styling like I always do. But this wig, I'm just going to be honest, I haven't done anything to style it. I don't wear anything in it. And it's, it's not really necessary. I haven't had a lot of problems in this. In fact, um, I don't even tuck this behind my ears. So I would say that this would be kind of tough to get behind my ears. I mean, I could maybe get a little bit behind there. But I'm not likely to wear a big chunk of it back there. Yeah. So I can tuck it. But you'll see that... Oh, I do have a hair right there. Just right in the way. It's cute. Just kind of tucked back there. But it's kind of a lot of hair. This wig has um, a pretty substantial amount of hair on it. It does have permatease if you're wondering. And I am grateful for that because I am out in the wind a lot. And that permatease keeps it um, so that people can't see the wefts when the wind is blowing my hair all around. I'm just going to show you guys my glasses. And they're over there. I was going to show you guys my phones. And they are over there. So, okay. So I've got these little barrettes that I got off of Amazon, and I will link them below. They're not little. They're kind of big. These are big old barrettes. So, like if I wanted to just kind of keep this off my face some, um, I think I'd just pull this right over here and kind of put a little clip right there. And then maybe over here. Well, I kind of feel like you don't even need it over here. Um... Put one over there too. And then I've got a couple of barrettes just kind of stuck in there. And if I wanted to, I could kind of put it in the wefts a little bit and that would help secure my wig if I were worried about it, but I'm really not. And see, look at my lace front. Look at it, look at my lace front, look at it. Anyway. Okay, and I'm going to show you. you got to be careful pulling these out because, look, I don't know. Can you see the hair? The little hair there that's stuck in the barrette? I pulled that hair out of my wig, and it's not ever going to grow back. So now I'm minus a hair in my wig because of these little, these little toothy barrettes. So a fantastic solution to wearing barrettes in your hair with a wig. Infant clips, guys. You guys know I like my infant clips. And, well, if you've been watching my videos, you know I like my infant clips. What y'all think? I know they're supposed to be for babies, but I love infant clips. You know why? If you haven't watched my videos, it's because they are coated. See them? They don't have any little rough toothy things here because they've got this ribbon over them and that protects your fibers on your wigs. I wonder what it would look like maybe with a flower, kind of. And because I have my leave out here, I might just do it like this. A little flower. What do y'all think? I wonder what it looked like with two flowers. I'm gonna leave that right here. And then just kind of let it be a little loose. Do I look like a woodland fairy, y'all? I kind of look like I've got some kind of flittery wing thing going on my head. I don't know. I like it. My little camo flowers that I picked up at Sam Moon. Ooh, did I pull, just pull my hair out? I think I just got another haircut, y'all. Okay, so another thing I like to put in, and I got these off of Amazon, 
There's just some cute little claw clips. And because sage here is um, an open wefted cap, I don't have to worry about damaging that cap, which I recently did, guys. I'll show you in a follow-up review I'm planning to do. All right. I'm not entirely sure if this is even, but... No, I didn't even do that 360. Let me get away with that. I'm not showing you all the sides of this pretty little darling. Okay, so let's do it. You know, a couple of the reviewers have said they don't like how these ends flip out. I try to make them flip out. I just love it. I love this wig, how choppy it is and how it flips out a bit. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to spin around. I'm not even going to bother with trying to figure out where my left and my right are. Did I do it good? I can't tell. When I'm in front of these backdrops now, which helps you to see the wig better, I think, but I can never tell if I'm like going this way or this way, so I may have to edit this later. Okay, so I've got a couple of little flowery bobby pins here. And if I were really gonna be out where this was whipping around in the wind, I think I would maybe wear these bobby pins and I would tuck them. So job one is to keep it out of my face and job two is to secure this wig by tucking that bobby pin back into the cap. I can't tell if I have pulled this thing up, but I don't think I have. I've got a good wig grip on. Side subject, and I'll be talking about it in depth in another video. The Milano wig grip cap is awesome. Cannot believe it has taken me this long to try it. I kind of think this would be really cute, like for an outdoor wedding where you want this kind of off your face so that you're not getting too hot. And it's really cute and wispy. And again, y'all, see the hair that came out of my wig because of this bobby pin. Yeah. So I share these little vintage bobby pins with you guys all the time. And I always mention that I got them on Amazon, but that they're not for sale anymore. Well, they're still not for sale, but I did find like all the stuff that I need to make these on Amazon. These are, you just get some bobby pin blanks here, and then you can get these little resin flowers. They're like, um, flat back. I don't even know how to say the word cabochon. Cabochon, cabochon, I have no idea because I'm not real crafty and I've never really done this before, but I have made some of my own now, not these, but I'm making some of my own accessories because I just can't find the ones that I want. <laughs> She's so cute. She's like toddler hair almost. Ugh. Can y'all hear my neck popping when I do that? All right, I'm gonna try one more little accessory and that's because I think I'd like to wear it off the face some.
What do you guys think? This one maybe does it look, make it look a little vintagey when you pull it back like that. Reminds me of Bewitched. Samantha always had her hair pulled back like that. How'd she do her mouth? Oh, you know what? I gotta talk about my experience in shopping for this wig. So, if you have not joined the Facebook group, The Beauty Nook, it's a great group of gals, y'all. So I joined it just to be part of the group and never really intended to attend a live sale with them. And then I did attend a live sale just to see what all the fuss was about because everybody was always talking about the live sales. So I attended my first one and I've been through four of those live sales now and they are fantastic. It is the most fun experience that I have had buying a wig. Leanne and Wig Daddy Ben are awesome. They are so entertaining through the whole sale. Plus, what I really love about this is that these are new wigs. But you know how sometimes with curly styles, you just never know what you're going to get? Like maybe you're going to get a barely there wave and maybe you're going to get a really curly wig. Well. If you're watching the live and you're buying the wig that she has on her head, then you know what you're going to get because you're seeing it on her head. Oh my God, I'm hot. Sorry, y'all. This is one of the reasons that I have been MIA. Hot flashes. I'm pretty sure I got the menopause, y'all. Got a bad case of it. God, how long does this last? Okay, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, live sales at the Beauty Nook. I really, really love attending these and it is such a fun wig buying experience. So definitely give the Beauty Nook a try. And I've actually ordered a few pieces from her that were not part of the live sale, I contacted her back and said, hey, can you get these pieces for me? And had her price them for me, and they were great prices. I've priced this sage, and I couldn't, I couldn't find it at a better price anywhere than what I got it for in the live sale. So I highly recommend the buying experience. I really, really had a great time to join the group, attend the lives. Even if you're not planning on buying a wig, it's just a lot of fun. So like if you're at home on a Friday night and you just want to hang out with a bunch of really cool women and laugh, I mean, you could just do it for that. But if you're looking to buy some wigs, I got to tell you, it's a great experience. It really is. So this has just been me talking about Sage by Aesthetica. The color's a mouthful. RH12 slash 26 RT4 and I got it from the Beauty Nook. Thank you for watching.